Hi, welcome back to Wolf Mix 101. Now we're going to show you something really clever because we're still adding fixtures because of the different ways that you can add the fixtures. Something that's really clever with the Wolf Mix W1 is if you are adding a multi fixture piece of lighting, like for instance the Gig Bar or the Gig Bar Move, what it will allow you to do is split the gig bar down as though it is all separate fixtures. That means that the park hands can be park hands, the moving heads can be moving heads, strobes can be strobes and the lasers can be lasers. It also allows later on for you to use these override buttons down the side a lot lot easier and get a lot better light show out of it. So what we're going to do is we're looking at the gig bar We've got Chevet gig bar because I know this is one of the fixtures that does it. We want to add it. We're going to tell it that it's the full 35 channel mode. And we want it on group A, but don't worry, you can change these groups after. And here's the clever part. It says here, this fixture has more than one beam. Would you like to split this fixture? Oh yes, we would. And that will then sit it, set it up, as you can see, there are multiple gig bar move three, gig bar move four, gig bar move five. They're all linked. They're all on group A, but then I can go in and I can decide that I want to change my grouping so that the moving heads on it are on group C. Click. I also happen to know that that is a moving head, so we'll have it on group C as well. And all you do, is change it like that. So that's it, that splits up your gig bars for you and makes it really, really easy for programming and getting a better light show out of that all-in-one spin and puke fixture. See you on the next lesson.